Okay, here we go. Lesson two, congruent parts, part two. So part one was lesson one. The bullet point says, let's name figures in ways that help us see the corresponding parts. So corresponding parts are um, like if AC um, is congruent to DF, um, things like that. So corresponding parts are typically congruent. Uh, we're gonna use patty paper to help us uh, label them. So patty paper with labels. Uh, what else could I tell you about corresponding parts? Uh, anyway, we'll get to it. So it's usually sides and angles. So sides and angles. All right, last thing I'm gonna teach you is that order matters. So here we go. Okay, each pair of figures is congruent. Decide whether each congruent statement is true or false. Okay, so we gotta decide if this congruent statement is true or false, if this one is true or false, if this one is true or false, and if this one is true or false. So, A, triangle ABC congruent to triangle FED. So this is the sentence form of this. And we have to determine if indeed those are true or false. Today I'm gonna use green and like a purple or something. Plum. So aqua green and plum, good color combo. Uh, all right, so what do we do first? Well, first thing you gotta do is trace ABC. Now I want you to start being uh, like, start using your patty paper um, so that you have more room. So you only have to use one paper every day. So here we go, trace ABC. There's A. No, let me just see if I can do it like this. A. There's B. And there's C. What you're going to find with pen is sometimes it's hard if you don't, um, if you're tracing with pen, it can be difficult if you don't have like a book underneath. So you'll start to find that out. But anyways, let's uh, connect the points. And in fact, before I even do that, I want to label the sides. So here we go. Let's do one for this, two for this, three for this. So one, two, three. Yeah, now I got to connect the points. A to C. B to C. And A to B. All right, so I've got a good copy of triangle ABC. Now, um, it looks like C and D could be um, matching so let me just go here first okay cool and then I think we just have to reflect and then we're good yeah so let's mark them accordingly there's one this is why labeling on the patty paper helps so much one two three a b was one B, C was two, A, C was three. So now we know. All right, now, um, we, we eventually got here. Now, A and F are corresponding. 
B and E are corresponding, C and D are corresponding. So our statement says A, B, C. So A, B, C. That needs to be congruent to F, E, D. A, B, C, F, E, D. Okay, this one's good. This one is true. If this were to have said triangle D, E, D, E, F instead, we would have had to have said false because order matters. Okay, let's move on to the next one. P, Z, J, M. So we'll just do it up here. There's P. There's Z. There's J. And there's M. Um, let's just go in order. Set a one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm gonna connect the dots. So P to Z. Z to J. J to M. And M to P. Okay, so we got a pretty good copy there of P, Z, J, M. Okay. Now we just got to kind of figure out how to get from P or the one P, Z, J, M to B, Y, X, L. It looks like it's just a simple translation from P to B. So it is, um, but let's start labeling our points for our sides. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So that way we know that P, Z, will match up or correspond to BY. ZJ corresponds to YX. JM corresponds to XL. And MP corresponds to LB. So, let's see if they're in order. It's, it should be PZJM is congruent to B, Y, X, L. Um, my daughter just wrote me a little note. There's a big spider on the big bed alive. Okay, Claire, go get it. Get a. Okay, well, I'm filming a video, so uh, you need to go get it. Use that patty paper. Um, smash it with the book. But on the patty paper, please, okay? I don't want the book to get spiders on them. But you should just let the spider go. If you could catch it and let it go, that'd be even better. The spiders are good for you. Yeah, it's true. Okay, we'll go get a cup. Okay. Tupperware. Put them in the Tupperware and then let them out free outside. Try not to kill them, okay? Anyways. All right, so... PZJM is congruent to BYXL. That's what we did, just decided. However, they say LYXB. So this is false. Because order matters in a congruent statement. You can't just like willy nilly pick any letters. Like they have to be in order. So because it doesn't uh, state um, triangle B, Y, X, L. The statement is false. Okay, let's move on to uh, this one. So J, K, L. 
congruent to QRS? Well, let's just find out. So we'll go one, two, three, trace. That's J. K. L. One, two, three, one, one, two. You're eventually going to get really fast where you may not even need patty paper. But until then, let's use patty paper. So here we go. JKL to uh, QRS. Well, I'm going to take J to S. Translate J to S, J S, directed line segment. And I'm gonna rotate. Center S until K and Q align. So we've got a one here, a two here, and a three here. So J K L is gonna be congruent to S, Q, R. How do I know that? Well, we did a translation, J to S, rotation, counterclockwise, until K and Q align. So it needs to be J, K, L congruent to S, Q, R. But they said Q, R, S. So this is false, believe it or not. Why? Because order matters. And triangle JKL is congruent to SQR, not QRS. SQR, not QRS. So that's why it's false. Okay, one more. This, is, this problem uh, drives me crazy, but here we go. A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm not even gonna draw the lines. Okay, so they're saying to P, Q, R, S, T. So that would mean that A and P would have to be um, corresponding. So let's see if that works. A to P. B would have to be corresponding to Q. So I'm gonna try to get B to Q. So what if we rotate this so that B goes to Q? Let's see if all the dots align. C aligns with R, so we're good. D aligns with S, so we're good. And E aligns with T. So A, B, C, D, E does correspond, or it's in the, the perfect order to P, Q, R, S, T. So this is true. So Pentagon A, B, C, D, E is congruent to Pentagon P, Q, R, S, T. That went a whole lot better than last year. Jeez, uh, I got confused on lining up the corresponding parts last year. Anyways, um, so yeah, so that's the first problem, 2.1, math talk, which are congruent. You got to remember this, order matters. Um, best way to do it is uh, use patty paper uh, with the labels. Uh, corresponding parts, uh, for this one we were mostly talking about sides, but angles come into play coming up soon. So anyway, that's the first problem. Okay, second problem, here we go. 2.2, .2. which triangles are congruent? Okay, 
So here we go. So this was 2.1. Let's go to 2.2 on the patty paper. You gotta stay organized. Uh, it's really important. So they're asking about PQR. So triangle PQR is congruent to which of these other two? Explain your reasoning. So here we go. P. Q. And R. Don't forget the labels. Trust me. 46. Point six degrees. We got a five point nine and a four point three. Okay, let me just connect the dots here. Okay, so we gotta figure out PQR. There's my copy of PQR. Um, which one uh, is it congruent to? So, uh, let's see, I'm gonna work on this one first. There's a 46.6 .6 and a 46.6 .6 there. So if I go there, translate P to A, um, I have a feeling if I reflect, it should be okay, but I already can tell something's off. So hang on, let me just reflect. Then the 5.9s line up, the 46.6s line up, the 4.3s even line up, but the shape is not the same. Look at this line right here. That's how I know the shape's not the same. So I'm thinking these, this one is not congruent. So if it were, we would say PQR is congruent to ACE, but I'm going to say PQR is not congruent to ACE. Why? You got to explain because the shapes are different. Remember, uh, congruence means same shape, same size. So now let's work on this other one. So we got PQR, PQR. We've labeled everything. We gotta see if it matches up with, it's looking like M, N, L. So let me translate P to M. There's P to M. I'm gonna rotate just a tiny bit until R aligns with L. So we rotated counterclockwise until R lined up with L. Now I'm gonna flip, because I gotta get this 5.9 over here. I gotta get this 4.3 over here. So let's flip it, AKA reflect over line LM. And there we go. We've got the 46.6 matching up. We got the 5.9s matching up. The 4.3s are matching up. So PQR is going to be congruent to M N L. So triangle PQR is congruent to triangle M N L. Why? Because we translated, rotated, and reflected P, Q, R, to M, and L every 
corresponding side every corresponding pair of sides are congruent and all corresponding angles are congruent. And that's the definition of congruence. Congruence, every corresponding pair of sides are congruent and all corresponding angles are congruent. So this is your answer. Triangle PQR is congruent to triangle MNL. And your method of, a, of attack on that problem is uh, trace PQR. Um, do the transformations and figure out what, what matches up. Okay, show a sequence of rigid motions that takes triangle PQR to that triangle. So I'm going to answer that again down here. Um, PQR, translate, PM. So translate. By directed line segment. PM, so then we're there. I'm going to say rotate counterclockwise till R prime matches up with L. I'm just going to say R to keep it simple. So rotate. Remember, you need a center, direction, and degrees. So the center is M, direction is counterclockwise, and the degrees are, well, a couple ways you could say this. You could say R prime M L, so angle R prime M L. That's the that's another way of saying degrees. You could actually name the angle, that's fine. Or until R prime aligns with L. Cool. All right, let's do 2.3. So 2.3, we'll say this is 2.3. So triangle A, B, D is a rotation of triangle C, D, B around point E by 180 degrees. This is where we're going to get into the angles. Is I'm going to just slow down a little bit. Let's trace to start things off. So you got A, B, C, D. Remember to label them. And we've got point E right here. Now, I'm going to help you a little bit. We're going to just label one for that one let's go two for this one and three for this one <clears throat> once i'm done with this i am going to Label the workbook also, and you'll see why coming up.
Okay. So what they're saying in our statement is that triangle ABD is a rotation of CDB around E. So CB, CDB ends up going to ABD. Okay. Got it. They ask us, is angle ADB, ADB, that's this angle right here, which we labeled with two. So is angle ADB congruent to angle CDB? They're asking us this one. Okay, so they want to know if this angle with which we marked with two annotations is the same as the green one. I'll show you what happens. Watch the green angle where it goes. The green angle ends up going up here, right here. So, after the rotation, Angle CDB, CDB becomes angle ABD. So angle CDB is congruent to angle, let's try that one more time. This is why order matters so much. You got to get the order right. So CDB. CDB is actually congruent to ABD. ABD. Now, I know it's getting a little bit frustrating because they're asking you about um, is angle ADB congruent to CDB? And your answer is no. Because angle CDB is actually congruent to ABD, not ADB. So, second part of the question is already answered. If not, which angle is ADB congruent to? Well, well, actually not. Here we go. They're asking ADB, ADB, which is this one right here. Which one is that one congruent to? That one is congruent to, remember the letters. It's congruent to this one. So ADB, ADB is congruent to CBD. So angle ADB is congruent to angle C. Tough, tough problem. Okay, polygon. H I J K L. H I J K L. Is a reflection and translation of polygon G F O N M. So basically, G F O N M becomes H I J K L after a reflection and translation. So uh, this is 2.3 part two. So let's trace G F O N M. So G F O N 
Um, all right, UFO and M. Okay, so what they're saying is after a reflection and translation, here it is, this reflection, this translation. So G-F-O-N-M becomes H-I-J-K-L. That's what they're saying. Is segment K-J congruent to segment NM. So we've got NM right here. Is KJ congruent to NM? Easy question. We're up here. No. NM is congruent to KL. So say no, because an M is congruent to K L. So if not, which segment is an M congruent to? We already answered that, K L. Okay, number three is tricky. Uh, quadrilateral. PQRS is a rotation of polygon V, Z, Y, W. This is a huge order matters in a congruence statement problem. So this is a Order matters in a congruent statement. So PQRS is a rotation of VZYW. You don't even have a diagram, but you do have a statement, which is really important. Is angle QRS congruent to angle ZYW? So Q is in the second position. R is in the third, S is in the fourth. Z is in the second, Y is in the third, W is in the fourth. So yes, because order matters in a congruent statement, We know angle QRS corresponds to angle ZYW. Angle, angle. That's a symbol for angle. You can use symbols instead of writing the word. It's kind of cool. So yes, because order matters in a congruent statement, we know that angle QRS corresponds to angle ZYW and corresponding angles are congruent. That is it for lesson two. The cool down, pay attention in class because it's not on this video.
pay attention in class. Do it for homework. I'm not even going to go over the cooldown. You need to start showing up to class. Some days I'll do them. Some days I won't. The reason I'm not this time, I didn't print it out. But if you go to class, you'll see me do it in class. Okay, that's it. That was uh, unit two, lesson two. Keep grinding. Geometry is getting difficult.